What's going on, demo class? Let's get started right away. First things first, hands behind the back. Ready, jump. And out, please teach me. And please teach me. All right, just gonna get a real quick blood pump and warm up. Nothing too crazy. We're gonna get right to work. So first things first, guards all the way up. You wanna catch dog place? Nice and loud at home. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten, twenty-eleven, twenty-twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten, twenty-eleven, twenty-twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten, twenty-eleven, twenty-twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten, twenty-eleven, twenty-twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten, twenty-eleven, twenty-twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten, twenty-eleven, twenty-twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Well done. One more cross touch. Last one for now. All the way across. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Well done. One more cross touch. Last one for now. All the way across. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Very good. All right, take a deep breath in. All the way up. And breathe it out. One more of those. Breathe it in. And relax. Very good. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to warm up our legs and warm up our upper body. So the first thing we're going to do is we'll put ourselves in a position where we have plenty of kicking room and we can go from one spot of this room to the other side. So, yep. Yeah. Go to bite the shin. Yeah. So at home, snaps, round, sides, into outs, out to the hooks. I want you to look across the room from wherever you're at. Pick a target that you can pinpoint and I want you to hit that target as if it was just hanging in space. Starting off with a snap kick. Let's get five of each of these kicks in quick succession. Ready? Sir. One. One, sir. Two. Two, sir. Three. Three, sir. Four. Four, sir. Ah, yeah. Slide it back, keep the guards up, check the guards up. Roundhouse and point those toes in the knee. Ready? Okay. One. One, sir. Two. Two, sir. Three. Three, sir. Four. Four, sir. Ah, yeah. Beautiful kicks and keeping the guards up. Ready? Good guard. There we go. Side kicks, hip with the heel, bring the knee across. Ready? One. One, sir. Two. Two, sir. Three. Three, sir. Four. Four, sir. Ah, yeah. And slide it back. Hey. Okay, for my intermediate class and my advanced classes, uh, if you guys have been taking your classes, you'll notice the into outs, out to the hooks we've been really focusing on. Clean extension on the into out. I don't want to see this little, I, I don't know what it is. Maybe they're stirring a little pot. I want a big one. All right, here goes. Ready? One, into out, all the way around. One, Beautiful. sir. Two. Two, sir. Three. There you go. Three, sir. Four. Four, sir. Five. Yeah, wasn't that pretty? And slide back. Say, sir. All right, out to it kicks. All right, make sure it has a good all the way to the extension. Just don't walk out to me. That's the only, sir. only limit there. Ready? One. One, sir. Two. There you go. Two, sir. Three. Three, sir. Four. Four, sir. Five. Yeah. And slide about. Hey. Okay. You know it. You love it. Axe. We're not axe kicks. We can do the axe kicks. You know what? Hey. We'll, we'll talk about axe kicks. Very, very Hook kicks. Hey. Um, I've been noticing on some of your video submissions that you've got this part moving and this part moving separately or at the wrong time. So I want to see that the leg extension, and that when this thing is coming back, that's when the leg is going out and coming back in. So you just got to figure out the timing between those two movements. All right, nice and slow. Ready? One, three, sir. One, sir. Two. Get the whole movement all the way across. There we go. Two, sir. Three. Three, sir. Four. Nice. Four, sir. And five. Get. Oh, hey, give me a hand. Give me something hand. All right, have a little touch on the swim. Thumbs up. Okay. All right. Switching gears. Upper body. Yep. Okay. We're going to shin. Get up. Okay. Again, we're focusing on something on the other side of the room. Looking at your target. So Mr. Ben's aiming towards uh, like the, the number bag on the other side. Yeah. Okay. Walking style punches. Five up. And uh, we'll just slide back each time for now. Two. All right. Ready? One. One, sir. Two. Two, sir. Three. Three, sir. Four. Four, sir. Five. Yeah. And slide back. Hey. A couple more. Let's throw in. Uh, oh, missing the guard. Missing the guard. Okay. All right. So when you throw in that punch, do one more punch. Hey. Don't forget about what this hand is doing here. This guy needs to stay up. We're not going to let it drop down to the side and say, oh, yeah, I got you. Then you're you're unprotected over here. Hey. Okay. Now let's go uh, to a high block. Hey, sir. This time, you know what? We're going to incorporate the guards with this one. I don't want to put your hand on the hip. I, you know, this is what I would expect in a form, but I want bang. Get the, keep the guards up. Because if Mr. Ben's punching at me, I'm not going to say, well, my hand is on my hip. It doesn't work that way, right? So if I punch in Mr. Ben and he gets his high block up there, bang! His guard right here, and he's ready to fire. That's what I want to see. All right, here goes. High blocks, walking style. You just have the other hand as a guard. Say, sir. All right, ready? One. One, sir. Two. There you go. It's ready. Two, sir. Three. Three, sir. Four. Four, sir. Five. Get up. 
like that. And so I've asked, like, okay, we all know the hand goes on the head. We know that, but like right now we're putting a little bit more utility to it. Right. Okay, uh, less interpretation. So, so, all right, uh, let's jump it down to a down block. So same kind of thing. The hand on the hip is great, but you know when you're throwing that down block, here's that down block. Ready? <laughs> Sorry about that. All right, one more time. Ready? Oh, okay. Now from there, this hand's ready to fire. I'm gonna switch sides on him a little bit here. All right, one more time. So when he brings his hand up to block, boom, he's using that hand. And if this hand right here, let's say this hand is just keeping the guard up. One more time, do the same move. Ready? Boom, all right. Turn this a little bit. That guard is protecting him. It never made it down to the head. So I just want to see both hands are working. Right. Okay, all right, walk and start down. Ready, one. One, sir, two, there you go. Two, sir, three. Three, sir, four. Four, sir, five. Two, slide back, right. All right, let's jump in one more. Let's do uh, a forearm block across the ear. So and again, just have that other hand as a guard, just protect. All right, here it goes. Ready? One. One, sir. Two. Two, sir. Three. Three, sir. Four. Four, sir. And five. Yeah. Nice job. Nice job. Okay, arms are warm. Hey. Legs are warm. Okay. Yes, All right, we're going to do something fun today. Well, I mean, that's fun. Fun. Some people saying, you know, walking on hot lava sounds fun, but, uh, you know, we're, we're not going to do that today. But we are going to focus on something we haven't done at home yet, and that is shoulder rolls. Say it, sir. Rolls. Okay. Now, I don't think that you have pits of molten lava in your home. Uh, maybe uh, there might some be some obstacles, but that's going to be something that we're going to have to be able to overcome. Say, sir. All right. So we're going to do a, a basic on our roll here. And this is, again, to make sure that the guys that don't know about the basics of the rolls, we're going to have to make sure we isolate all these pieces. And then we're going to go into dealing with, you know, we got something we got to avoid. Hi. Okay. So first things first, I'm going to have this leg down and this one in front so the guys so so. can see. All right. There's three most important parts that I need to see. Number one, he's going to end up putting himself where the hands are going to be on the inside of his legs. And you notice that this knee is up and that knee is down. What we don't want to do is we don't want to put the hands on the outside because then he'll roll on his head. That's no good. All right. So the hands are on the inside. Now, you'll notice Mr. Ben's putting his hands like this. Some of you guys might know that you're going to rotate the hands over and create this kind of like a version where I, I, it's, no, it's no longer the little triangle. In the very beginning, I teach this to you because it's safe and it's, uh, it's comforting. Right. Okay. But eventually, you'll take your hands away right. and uh, you'll still feel just right at home. Sure. All right. So, again, hands are on the inside. Now, second thing we're going to do is we're going to turn our head to the outside. We're not going to turn our head towards the knee. Again, if he turns his head towards this side, and he's going to roll on his head as opposed to his shoulder. Right. So he's going to turn his head, which is going to expose that back shoulder. The last part, back toward the, the behind here, that we have this foot. This is important. All right, my beginner guys, I want you to set your toe. Do you notice that it's ready to push off? My advanced guys, I'd like to see that the foot is nice and flat. And from here, can you stand up like that? Okay, it just takes some practice to be able to do that. Okay, but again, let's do all three things, setting the toe, Hand is in the center here as opposed to the outside, and you turn the head. So all three pieces are there. All right, now from here, all I'm going to see is that you're going to focus on that shoulder, keeping your head turned. All right, go right. as slow as you can, Mr. Ben. Say it, say it. just fall. And when he's done, he's going to reset the same position, right. sets the toe, sets the hands, and everyone's happy. All right, I'm going to slide you back. Say it, sir. One more time. Okay, set it up. Got the foot, the hands, the head, the foot in the back. All right, nice and slow, super slow. Boom. And he sets himself back up. Excellent work. Okay, now, well, there's a mat here. Say, sir. Who's got a mat at home like this? Uh, well, okay, you might. You never know. Okay. But it's not likely. And more than likely, you have yourself. There's the, the coffee table. And here's uh, the, 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 the lamp. And uh, over there, there's the, the, uh, uh, the couch. So everything's all in the way. All right, so let's get this mat out of here first. Say, sir. All right. And we're going to put ourselves in a position where we don't have the luxury of all the space. We don't have the luxury of, of things, uh, you know, this hard surface. Right. So um, let's talk about this hard surface for a second. Say, sir. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> all right. Um, so first things first, let's talk about this round shape. I've got my foot set. I like my foot nice and tight in the back. Again, flat or toes. Flat or toes. When I do my shoulder roll here, I really like to focus on my shoulder meeting the proper part of the ground and the proper part of the shoulder touching. If you feel like you are getting that owie, it's like, oh man, that was a good one. There's two different schools of thought. Number one is toughen up, right? 
the other part is, well, if it's hurting that bad, something's wrong. Okay, in other words, you might be rolling on a part, a very specific part, like right back here, there's a little tiny, like a bone right above your pelvis, and man, oh man, when I was rolling that thing, it would be, I'd be like, okay, all right, it's a little, it's a little tender. Um, and so I learned not to roll on that part, and that's the, that's the real secret there. So when I'm rolling, I'm very conscious about what part of my body touches it. So I put my hands down here, here, your choice, and I bring the knee down, and as I fall down, the goal is, is for my back to greet the ground properly, not slam down on the ground. So I fall, and as I roll, my body knows how to touch the ground properly, and I'm using my muscles to reset myself back into this position. All right, can you give me a, a nice clean roll on the ground? Sure, No thump, thump, thumps? Right. Okay, we'll do it uh, one direction, then the other direction. Sure, sure. Just a slow? Uh, slow, and I want you to listen. All right, go ahead. All right. Whoa, very quiet, okay. Can you give me the clunkety clunks? Sorry, sir. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, I'm sorry about your ankle. Is your ankle okay? Sorry, sir. Okay. Well, then his ankle then got hurt. All right, one more time. Nice and soft. Thank you. Good. Okay. All right, let's put the coffee table in there. Thank Let's put a chair in there. And let's put ourselves couch in there. Sorry, sir. All right. So at home, I don't know everyone's exact setup, but you gotta consider that when you're practicing this roll, that you got plenty of space that you're going to say, I can roll straight. You roll in a way that you're not gonna bump into other things. All right, Mr. Ben, can you uh, navigate through this area here and not bump into either of these things? Sorry, sir. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Other way, one more. Hi. All right, let's make it a little bit harder for Mr. Ben. Hi. All right. You're not going to be able to roll through it. Say, sir. But oh, this is oh, something sorry. at the end. Say, sir. Yeah, right. So you, uh, try rolling and stopping. That's difficult. Okay. So then this is where you go into what's my distance? Can I be able to stop short? Okay. So you've got to know. I mean, if I said to you, Mr. Ben, could you roll here and, and stop? Okay. So where do you want to be? Right back here. Okay. So roll, stop, don't touch any of the pads. Oh, he knocked over the vase. Oh, that was, a, that was like 1800s. Fine sight. Okay, I'm just kidding. All right, you got it. Just one more time. Easy. Oh, yeah. Give him a hand. Nice stuff. Okay, that's pretty awesome. So, in other words, when you're at home, no, you don't want to put anything in peril. Moms and dads, I understand there's lots of limitations. However, when you are trying to practice something like this, you can't always say, well, you know, I'm going to wait till I have something fluffy. You know, a big mat, that'll feel good. And Mr. Ray said, okay, let's get 12, 12 big pillow blankets. It'll be better. My shoulder won't hurt. Come on now. All right, so we understand that we need to practice this. Can you guess what one of the homework assignments is going to be? Roll is, is a demonstration of rolls. So, and, you know, you don't have to put out pillows or anything like that to demonstrate that you can stop. And don't roll into the camera. <laughs> All right. Um, I really would like to see her, you know, a couple of reps, like five rolls, maybe some five rolls, and, and um, no clunkety clunks. Sure, sure. Okay. Anything you want to add to that before we switch gears? Uh, I think outside is probably one of my favorites. Okay. So if you have a yard that's big enough, that's a good place because generally grass is pretty soft. Um, it's softer than my floors inside. So you put on your clothes that you're okay with getting stains on. Right. And and when you're doing this, always, you know, uh, don't forget to kind of like um, inspect the area that you're going to do it in. If you have like a wooded area, you know, look around for sticks, something that's going to poke you out and there's nothing to avoid. Rocks. It's like, you know, you guys are on the demo team. Didn't we always inspect the ground before we put the mats down? So let's check for obstacles. Mr. Randy used to have us do that. All right. Fine, fine to inspect. All right, we're clear of any threats. So um, when you're practicing this at home, just make sure you take care of that. And then um, I think outside's great because it uh, it definitely puts the terrain in, you know, and gives you a little bit more realistic setup. Okay, very good. Well, you know what? When we do our rolls, what's typically what we're gonna do is gonna be stick escape, right? Serious. Sure, okay, so let's push you back off to the side here and let's do ourselves a stick escape. So the first thing I want to see on stick escape is that you got the basic escapes. Now we're not gonna do the rolls per se right now. So, but the goal is at home is to involve you guys. Um, this past week, we, a couple weeks, we worked with SPAR and, and uh, even a PB class where I'm coming at you. I'm coming at you. Oh! Okay, so the whole point is is use this opportunity to check your timing. So we're going to start with Angry Bear first. Hi. Okay, um, I'm going to turn you towards the camera for a second. Sorry, sorry. All right, so now when we do this, for my guys that aren't as well versed with this, uh, Angry Bear, I want you to think about what side I'm going to hit first. I'm going to go for his ribs. And what I want you to think about that foot is the one that needs to move first. So if I swing here, that movement is gonna get him out of the way. I moved the wrong foot. Okay, I'm not gonna change my position. 
I still got it, okay? Correct foot this time. Okay, correct foot with some speed. He's good, he's good, okay? Correct foot with some serious speed. Okay, now I'm gonna swing at you. So if you move, I'm gonna hit you this time. I'll, I'll be nice, okay? Yeah, wrong, whoa, I'm gonna tag you. That's no good, okay? All right, so let's do a couple of finger bears and let's see if these guys at home can do it. Okay, so Mr. Andy, you'll be my gauge just whether or not they're moving out of the way. All right, a nice and slow, big movement. You know it's coming ahead of time. Don't move at the last second. Don't move here, you're late, okay? Move here and then out of the way. All right, here comes. I'm coming at you at home. And I wanna see that big, big, out of the way move, all right? I'm gonna hit this side of your body first, ready? I'll go slow, move even fast. Switch it on this side? Right side. Okay, <laughs> so, I'm gonna hit on this side. Is that, is that, I should be hitting you on your right side. So would this be the right side for them at home? It probably would be, because they're facing towards the camera. Yeah, okay. All right, Mr. Hurst, you're the opposite direction. Huh? Hit this side over here. I should still be hitting them on the right side. Is that better, Liam? So if I go like this, Liam, am I gonna get you the same way? See, we're learning. Right. Okay, all right, you know what? You're educating Mr. Eric. Thank you for teaching me. All right, here it goes. Slow me in the fast. Here it goes, nice and gentle, moving out of the way. I'm get a little closer to you, a little faster. Ready? Moving out of the way. All right, let's go two more. A little faster, a little closer. Moving out of the way. Here it comes. This one's gonna go right to the camera. Hopefully I don't hit it. All right, ready? Three, two, one, move out of the way. Whoa! Did you get him? Did I get him? Thumbs up, give yourself a hand. Nice job. All right, just make sure that when you're doing this whole thing that, you're not doing this and double weighting yourself. Remember, it's one, two, okay? Next move is open the door. Right. All right, I'm going to put you on this side over here. Sure, sir. So when you do your open the door, think to yourself about this line that you want to say, I'm going to move off to the side. And when we move off to the side, we're going to turn towards the camera this time, so just for a second, is that we're going to be in this position where the hands and the body is completely clear. Okay, one more time. One, two. Now he sees this shape. And that shape says, hey, you know what? I, I'm pretty much committed to going straight down. Now, you are not gonna move early. I'm gonna repeat that. Do not move early. You see this and you're like, move? Well, I'm gonna hit you where you're at. So don't assume anything. What you will do is you're gonna wait for commitment. So in other words, here, about this point right here, I'm, I'm, my mind's pretty much set. I'm going to hit you. And then that's when you're using it. It is impossible for me to tag you at the last second, it just didn't work out. Physics don't change that way. Say, so, so. right, slow, medium, and fast. One, two, all right? Get those hands up. One and two. Oh, almost got some, I almost got the little, the little pinky. Oh, man, all right, now, doesn't matter if I go fast, he's still out of the way because he sees this. He sees me get to that spot. So when I go here, don't wait for it to get to here to be able to move out of the way. All right, so slow, medium, and fast toward these guys. All right, ready to get home? Are their hands ready? They look like they're ready for the, the you know, a gunslinger out of the West? Yeah. <laughs> okay, they're not like this. All right, yeah. <laughs> here it goes. Slow, medium, and fast, open the door. Moving off to the side. There's one. Here comes again, a little faster, and two. All right, a little faster, make sure you move, and three. All right, here it goes. I'm going for the camera. Hopefully you don't get hit. Here's four. Cool. Anybody? No one got hit? All right, there was no demo kids injured in this recording. Give yourself a hand. Nice job. All right, last thing I want to have happen is go boom, and then you fall into something, and then you break your face. Nice. <laughs> All right, let's see if Mr. Ben's prepared. Ready? Whoa. Man. I try to get this guy, I, I just, sometimes I just try to sneak up on him, but if I change it, we're going again. Okay, so how does Mr. Bendit know? How do you know to move that quickly? I'm, I'm looking for this chain. Looking for that chain. Looking for that shape. So when he sees the jump, he, <laughs> I don't know if you just notice his body, he's like, okay, I'm ready. So it's programmed. I hit the enter button, this is what it does. Once he sees the stick aiming towards his toes, he already knows. And so he sees this posture and his body prepares. Right? Okay, so one and Two, okay, again, one and two. Now, what you're trying to do is when you get this jump, is you're not gonna go, all right, uh, say crisscross applesauce, so, so. whatever they call it nowadays, all right. This is how I want you to jump. I want you to tuck up your legs. I can't jump very high, but I can tuck up my legs, so it's very important that your feet are clear. The upper body I'm not really worried about because I'm not gonna hit the upper body. You know it's aiming towards the lower body. So, so. Okay, so when you're jumping, I want you to think about crossing your legs, okay, and picking up the knees. Just like 
pulling them up like landing gear. Okay. okay. One, two. So we practice this at home, and you've got wood floors or tile. I'm not gonna hear. Go, go. Okay. All right. Landing gears. All right. I'm gonna go for your toes. Are you ready? Give me five good jumps. Are these guys ready to jump? Okay. She's got the hand up. Is that? No, Oh, okay, gotcha. All right, here goes. So when I when I go for the swing, show me that you got the timing. Ready? One, two, three, and jump. Okay, four to go. A little faster. Jump. And get a little closer. Jump. All right. I'm gonna go a little faster now. So as soon as I get to that chamber, you know I'm swinging. Three, two, one, and jump. All right, last one. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it. Here, come, come, come. All right. Thumbs up. Thumbs down. Thumbs out to the side. Oh man! Okay, all right. Last one. You're gonna redeem yourself. If you've ever gotten that pinky toe, oh, it it, it, it hurts so bad. But that's okay. You will survive because I'm gonna get it again. All right. Be ready. Watch my posture. Three, two, one, jump. Whew. Dang! Here's my hand. All right. All right. The batter's up posture. Um, in sort, we call this. Paso, 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 no kamai. Okay, I know probably it's been a while. It's been a while. I mean, we have to get back to sword now. Paso, no kamai. Uh, it's maybe a Jeopardy question at this point, but for my sword guys, paso is a very good posture. But it's also a very keen. You know, if you look at this position, and it doesn't matter if it's this position or if it's this position, this is a very similar type of shape. You see this shape, and you know there's a diagonal movement coming out of it. All right, so when he's going for the duck. I need his head to be up. Like I, we just finished a roll from our escape, right? And so you're down here, and you say, "Ooh, I'm, you know what? I just finished my roll. I'm going to stay down here." No, that means I'm going to hit your sitting duck. Can right. you duck any further than that? Maybe. <laughs> you know, I've got to see so you're down there. All right. So I'm a big fan of standing up and ducking. All right, but then he sees this and he ducks. All right, two more, a little faster, and last one. Here, whoa. Okay. All right. As a matter of fact. Give you an idea. I did this with an elementary school kid that we did a, many years ago. We did a self demonstration, and this kid was pretty sharp. I said, as soon as I go here, you duck. As soon as I go here, you duck. And I'll tell you what, at the very end, I just put my hand up here and I swung. And that kid was like, I was so, so on it. An untrained person, because he learned how to, well, I'm trained then, learned how to be able to see the shapes. So here it comes, going for the duck, off the head hunt. So I'm gonna go up here, one and three, two, one, duck. Okay, three, two, one, duck. Three more, okay, one, and duck. All right, a little faster, three, two, one, duck. Last one, big one, Boom. Anything? One, 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 chance to redeem, okay, it, it'll, it'll smack it, rub it out, it'll be fine. All right, ready, three, two, one, and boom. Okay, give yourself a hand. All right, since we learned how to roll on our very, very, uh, I'm going to say uh, accommodating concrete floor downstairs or in the gravel outside. Why not practice our stick escape with that? I, okay. So now we're going to do this without the stick, of course. And so the thing I'm looking for is that it's just going to be a side side. If you have room to roll one way, just turn around and roll the other way. Like, again, please be careful. But that doesn't mean it's be tough to. Right? Okay. So there's a big difference. Okay. Here goes. So first things first, he's going to face towards this direction. First movie he's gonna do is Angry Bear. And he's got the cable on the other side, so don't roll into it. And he rolls away. And all he's gonna do is he's gonna open the door and he's gonna roll back to where it came from. And again, there might be the coffee table here. Okay, I'm going for the jump. Zoop. And then he's gonna roll back toward the couch. Okay, and then here comes the duck. Zoop. And he rolls away. And then this last one is a combination of moving out of the light off the side. As I come around, he's gonna open the door and then jump. Now, when we do this last part, you notice he's facing this direction. You might have to adjust that to where I'm just going back and forth. section. okay? One more time, and we'll get to that last move, of course. All right, so going straight back and rolling. Check your distance. Whoa, all right. Open the door and rolls. There we go. Jumps and rolls. All right, here it goes. Duck. And roll. All right, here it goes. He's gonna, I'm gonna roll back this way. So I come around here and I poke, poke, and I jump, 
And then he rolls, stands up, and I want to hear, get up. So just keep in mind, when you practice this, you have to use your imagination. No one's chasing you with a stick. Not necessarily. Maybe mom or dad they might say, hey, you know, let's find a broomstick or something like that to chase your kids. Uh, but but uh, I, I all, I'm all for it. <laughs> all right. Um, about kids. So, again, when you're practicing roles like this, um, you have to think outside the box. You have to practice this stuff. And, the, the, you know, the, the, the mats are a luxury. Please, the mats are a luxury. If you think that that's where you practice roles, that, you know, ask yourself the next time that you have to go roll out of necessity where you slip. It wasn't on a mat. It was on ice. Or it was on a gravel road where you lost your footing on the side of a hill that was slippery. That, that's the reality of rolls. So that way we understand where this is really going to happen. So don't just pretend like you're going to roll on pillows for the rest of your training. Okay? All right, now, real quick mental break. Your job is to find three different rooms in this house of yours. And what you're going to do is you're going to throw a high block, a middle block, and a down block in each of those rooms. No lazy ones, all right? Oh, strong ones, all right? So good high block, good middle block, good down block, next room, do it, next room, do it. All your marks, get set, go. Are they moving? Good, that's fast. All right, let's get this stuff out of the way. All right, we're gonna do some beginning set. Let me know when they're coming on back. Yeah, one. One, that was fast, that's a good block. Two. <laughs> Everyone back? Thumbs up. Excellent. Give yourself a hand. Okay. All right. Now, just a side note, real quick. Um, you know, a couple shout outs to my guys that are always in class. I really appreciate you guys coming in class and taking your time to make sure that you are still training. Um, you know, I, I got uh, Liam that turns into somewhere every single week without fail. Uh, Isla, she's not able to be here today. I think she's not well. Uh, and there's a, a couple other guys, you know, I, I've seen uh, 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 Allie that's been coming in every single class. So just, you know, guys, you're, you're knocking out of the park. You're showing me that you're a true martial arts. That's what it's showing me. And uh, when this is all done and over, uh, I, I always say we're going to have something really important, really interesting to talk about, Tension. about how we survived uh, the ability to continue my, my commitment towards my training, towards your training. Okay? All right, Mr. Matt, coming up. All right, time for some beginning set. All right, now, um, last time we did this a couple couple of demos ago, I was playing with the timing of this. Yes. Okay, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually pause on some of these moves, like the snap kick or the roundhouse or the toss for the turn that you've got. So I'm going to play with your ability to pay attention. So now, no one's back there to make sure that you're chopping strongly or holding a good chamber or anything like that. So we're on the honor system. Make sure that you're doing your best. Hey. All right, so first things first, um, Mr. Ben, I'm going to put you down that, that uh, extra yeah. position. You're ready for the kicks. Hey. Again, this is a very, very basic timing. Nothing too crazy. We're going to go standard. One, two, that kind of pace. Yes, okay, I'm going to get ready to go. Ready? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Three, four. One, two, 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 three, four. Give yourself a hand. Good job. Good job. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to start with Mr. Ben. Thank you. All right. So I'm going to go. A little faster, and you're actually going to notice a lot faster, but it's going to be in bursts, okay? No, do the same thing for my kickers, okay? All right, so starting down the X block, okay, listen to the pace first, and then you'll know what the pattern's going to be like. As a matter of fact, everyone should do this. You can do this too. You join. All right, here it goes. Ready? One, two, three, four. That's the pass. All right, so you're going to go pop, 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 and then wait, and then wait. Ready? I'm going to lead you in. I'm going to lead you in. Ready? One, two, three, four. Go. One, two, three, four. Hold it. Same thing, ready? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, same thing. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, you ready? All right, I'm going to give you that four seconds in between just to get yourself prepped for the next move. So it'll be a pop, 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 pop. All right, 
can you kick that quickly? Sir? <laughs> All, you right. Count. All right. One, two, three, four. It wasn't uh, <laughs> I was giving her a little break. <laughs> All right. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Looking good. Keeping up at home. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, here goes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And she's finishing up. And you're <laughs> And all that. Okay. All right. The whole point is, is that when you're practicing this at home, you've got to be able to mix it up. Okay. So now I'm going to add one more tiny variable, and I'm going to make you hold the mid count. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. All right. Again, we're just playing with the time. All right. Here, we're back down in that position, and then I'll have you on the kicking. If it turns out that you're mid kick, then you're going to have to figure that part out. You're going to say, "Well, I can't hold it mid air because." It, like, you figure that out home, then you just send me a little text about the secret of how that works. All right, so it's gonna be a one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, go. One, two, three, four. Do you, do you want to focus on that? Not necessarily. Sure. Sure. You can sure. take a beat. Are you sure. still back? Right. All right, one more time. One, two, three, four. 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 Good. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There, I made it. Sorry, I told you we didn't need it, but I want, I want them to hear this thing here. Okay, so first off, has anybody ever heard this little TikTok thing where they, they, they press the, well, I mean, back in the day, they didn't have a button. It was just a simple arm that swung back and forth and went tick, tock, tick, tock, back and forth very smoothly. And you were able to kind of, you know, plan the beats. Okay. You got one up there? All right. So what you're going to do when you practice this at home is you get to choose the, the pace that you're doing this at. Is that you're able to say, I'm going to try this really fast and it probably will be too fast for your abilities and maybe it's going to be too slow for the technique that you're pulling off. All right. And almost? <laughs> I'm red. I'm just waiting on you. You're red. Okay. Uh, give me a slow beat and Mr. Bang, I'm going to have you down this position. Yes. Sir. Now, can you make it loud enough for them to hear it at home? Yes, sir. All right. All right. Let me hear it first. A little faster. All right, I'm going to hold on to it, and you're going to watch at home to see if they're actually keeping with time, just for a second. All right. You hear that? Sure, sure. All right, so I'm going to put the phone next to it. Now, can we get a, a nod that they're hearing this? Can you hear this at home? That. Yeah. Okay, all right. All right, that's the pace I want. Yes, sir. And at home, feel free to be able to play with this in terms of which moves you do or which beat you work on. Are you ready? Okay. Whenever you're ready. Nice, very good. Give him a hand. Nice job. Good job. Okay. All right. Uh, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring you back out here. Miss Kicker Extraordinaire, Mr. Striker Extraordinaire. Hi. Now, can I go a little faster than that? No, no, no. You're you're you're, you're gonna you're gonna do it together. Yes. Sir. Okay. All right. So again, at home, trusting that you guys are all going to stick with this. All right. Find something here that's going to be going to be strong. You got your kicks. Yes, sir. And you got your upper body. Hi. Okay. So you're down there. Wait a second. Too fast or just right? Can you handle that? Yes, sir. Okay, ready at home. I'll let you do it on your end. It's okay, keep going. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's okay. You're all good. Well, you the timing. All right. So now the whole point of it is this. 
is that it doesn't matter how perfect the timing is with another person. Right now, that you're able to be able to syncopate yourself with the imaginary beat. You get to make it as fast as you want or as slow as you want. That's totally up to you. You don't have another person right there next to you that's going to be doing it off a different beat. So you don't have to sweat that. But then when we get, get back into gear, then we're going to all have a, a, a multitude of abilities to go at any beat that we can handle. Sure. Okay, so you can go faster, you can go slower, you can go faster, you can go slower. You practice all sorts of beats as right. opposed to, well, there's only one beat and the song doesn't change beat. It's the same song every single time, but I want you to be well skilled at it. Okay? All right. So, Mr. So thank you very much. Well done, ma'am. All right, Ms. Ben. We've got a couple more things to do here. Um, now, uh, back to the homework. I saw one submission that I, that I got from my, my demo guys. And I didn't see any other submissions. So um, either I'm assuming that you didn't do the homework or that you're worried about the submission thing. Uh, well, I, I will tell you this. We're getting super close to changing up our platform. I'll give you guys an idea that uh, we're going to be using Google Meets as our platform to be able to do our online live classes. And that uh, Canvas is going to be the program that we're going to be using to be able to get all of the assignments in, in a secure format. Uh, but again, it's going to be, you know, an assignment that you get and an assignment that you'll turn in. Um, and I, I, I'm going to do this regardless whether or not it's one person or 10 people that turn in the homework. But since I am giving you the homework, I do appreciate when you do it. Uh, so the homework assignment is going to be the rolling, okay, uh, with the, uh, the stick escape. So back and forth. So you start thing. But I only saw one assignment from last week. And uh, unless there's a, a couple others that turned their stuff in that I didn't see. Actually, I'm sorry, two, because Mr. Grayson turned in an amazing one. His feedback should be coming up pretty soon. And uh, Liam, both of you, those guys, both of you guys did your homework. I'm very appreciative of that. Um, but what I want you to be able to do is be able to consider that when you're practicing the stuff at home, that you're not just doing it because I told you to. I don't want you to do anything that I tell you to do. I want you to, you know, as we all say, we think for ourselves. So. I could tell you to do this and you know, it's up to you to trust me to say, all right, well, there's a reason why I'm practicing this. Mr. Eric might want me to work on this because it's going to develop something. And that's why, you know, you've trusted me as your coach all this time. So when I give you an assignment, I just want to know that you're doing it. And uh, at this point, if you haven't done it, then come on now. Now, one last thing to add to that is the homework assignment is not something that you just simply do at the last second. No, it should be something that you practice over the course of the week. Right. So over this next, five, six days, I should like hear about your, your trials and tribulations of rolling on that harder floor and your shoulders should be a little bit more sensitive to that. So, and then when you turn in your submission, you say, Mr. Jerry, take a look at my rolls. I've been working on it this whole week. You feel, uh, you know, much stronger about it. So, okay. Anything you want to add to that? Um, I mean, you would come to class at least two days a week and then you would practice. Hopefully we like to hear once a day. So, you know, you're only getting one class a week, so you should be putting some extra time into practicing at home. Um, especially, like, the basic stuff we've been giving in other classes, like kicks. Mm -hmm. That's to be done every day, mm -hmm. regardless of whether it's given to you or not. So, keep on top of um, Just to answer some of the, uh, the concerns that everyone has about, like, you know, I, I know there's a huge boatload of responsibilities on you parents. I know that. Uh, you know, you have to be teachers. You have to be – you still have to be a parent. Uh, you have to be uh, – uh, you know, some of you guys are going to work, and some of you guys are, you know, doing everything else in between and trying to be able to manage all that. Uh, for you youngsters that are listening to parents, guys, make sure that you're making things easier for your mom and dad to be able to do these things. You know, like when mom says, get to work, that doesn't mean like, like him and her mom because, oh, you know what, there's not a teacher in front of you, mom and dad are giving me this assignment, and all of a sudden, it's different. I know it's different. But if you were in here, you would get your behind in gear because I tell you to do it, and I threaten push-ups, and it's different at home. So the best thing you can do to ease that burden on mom and dad is do what they're telling you to do as best as you can and be able to help them. And then everyone's going to be a little bit happier. You won't have to worry about getting barked at for not doing an assignment, whether it's school related or karate related. Because I guarantee you that some of your moms and dads in the, that are in the audience are like, you know what? I'm tired of having to tell this on the fifth time to get the assignment done. Say so. And you know what? We will talk about that in the demo team. I give out a load of push-ups when I hear one person squeaking about that. Say so. Okay. So. Like parents can still reach us and tell us about this. Oh, you know what? If, if, if there's anything I can do, if, if I hear little Johnny or Susie is at home and just giving you a hard time, please tell me. Please tell me. As a matter of fact, I, yeah, call them out and say, you know what, Mr. Eric, I'm having trouble with this. Make sure that you're, uh, you know, I, I will definitely feed that into your homework assignments. 
<laughs> All right, and there's penance if you don't do the assignments. Sorry, sir. All right. You guys did a great job today. Good job on your stick escapes. Practice your rolls at home. Uh, questions and comments, this is the best time to ask. What questions did you guys have about class today? Anything that you guys have uh, concerns about? Anything back there, Miss Joanna, for you guys? Rolling assignment. They know what to do about the stick escape practice. And they're going to give me some, um, uh, also, what was the other one? Not the, the stick escape, but um, I can't even think just for a second. Uh, the, uh, the, the demo set. So being able to practice the, the beginning uh, with the different timing sets. Sorry, sir. Okay, so throw that in there too. You know, show me, show me how you're playing with your time. Like rolling and beginning set time. Sure, sure. Okay. And again, I always put it in the description underneath the video. And uh, stay tuned for more updates on our new platform. It's coming soon. All right. One sound. Ready? Jump. Thank you for teaching me. Teaching me. And you're just missing music.